This short video explains how to manually generate your tickets. In this video, we will look at how to reprint all tickets in a batch, how to print selected products, how to reprint using a different talker style, how to reprint from a specific code in a batch, and how to skip blank labels. You can easily reprint all tickets from one of your last 10 batches. Click the tickets icon. The last 10 ticket batches are displayed here. Simply double click on any batch to display the tickets. Click print and then click close when done. We will now have a look at how to print tickets for selected products. Click the tickets icon and then click new. Up here you can select to print all pending tickets, all products in the shop file or print selected products via F3 or upload from PDE. Please view the video Generate Tickets via PDE for more information on that. Make sure this is selected and then click the Add F3 button. You can search by product name or code and use the spacebar to select deselect products if you need to. You may want to reticket an entire department. Click Add F3 to search again, click on Department, select the department, and then use the spacebar to select deselect products if you need to, or click the tick all button to select all products in the department. Click OK, all the products will be listed. Here you can see we have 146 items that will have tickets printed. Select the ticket that you want to print on, then click OK. The tickets will be displayed, and then click print and close. You can also reprint a batch using a different talker style. Simply select the batch, click on reprint using different talker style, click reprint and then select the different talker style that you want to print on, click OK, the tickets will display and then click print and close. You can also reprint a batch from a specific product code in the batch. This is useful if you only need to reprint some of the products in the batch, or if you ran out of paper or toner in the original print run. Tickets print in product code order within the batch. If we look at this batch, we will change it so we print from this product code 247649. Highlight the batch and click on reprint from a product code, and then click reprint. Enter the product code to start printing from, in this case 247649, and click OK. You can see that the first product code here is the one we selected. Click Print and then Close. Profit Track allows you to specify the number of labels to skip before printing. This means partly used label sheets can be reused by starting the print on the next available area. This can be used on pending or reprint batches. Count the number of labels you wish to skip. Down column 1 of the label sheet and then down column 2. We want to start printing on the 16th label, so enter 15 here. Then double click the batch you want to print. See how the printing now starts on the 16th label position. Click print and then click close. And close again to return to the main menu. Thank you for watching. If you require further assistance, please contact us at Independent Solutions.